Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have some exciting news. Um, as I was heading back uh, to the base, I found a spaceport, and it's a spaceport model that I am not familiar with because this model was not in this game uh, when I played back with the Beyond update, or if it was, I never came across it. Um, and our base is just right over there, so we're not very far away at all um, from this location. So, since we are at this space station, let's uh, take a look around and see what's what. Uh, one of the things we need to do is we do need to buy some electronics for the hyperdrive. So, this is an artifact exchange vault. What do we need for this? Uh, archaeological vault status is secure. Celestial archive curators seek artifacts of cultural or biographical interest. Archaeologists will be compensated for all contribu contributions. Submit a new artifact to the vault to exchange it for an archived artifact of equivalent or greater rarity. Interesting. Okay. So we'll be investigating that later on. We've got a vendor of some sort here. Technology merchant. Purchase components. All right. We need four microprocessors. And I don't think we have any of those or do we did we come across a microprocessor uh, let's take a look at our starship inventory does not look like it okay so we need these um it looks like the the price is flat so it's not good or bad it's just normal um oh man he's only got three though okay well let's buy the three that he does have and then we we should be able to buy one um, from our vendor back home if we don't find another one anywhere else. Uh, is there anything we want to sell here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh yeah, actually, we should have some goop to sell. Yeah, living slime and residual goop. We'll sell that to him. Okay. Um, what is all this business? It's like a Gek stock market. How interesting. Yeah, this is all new to me. Alright. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. Get out of here. We got a storm going on. Leave. No, we don't. I think that I think the ship was just landing and we saw the steam from it. And I thought it was a storm coming in. Alright, never mind. False alarm. Gek stares into my visor and clicks their beak in time with my breathing. I can only assume that this is supposed to make me feel welcome. Request dialect help. Merchant Kishko squeaks at me. When I do not respond, they present a list of language symbols. Let's do a trade symbol. We have learned the Gek word for trade. Didn't we already learn that? No, we learned the Corvax word for trade. Okay. But... Can we actually trade with him, though? Practice language skills. What's that do? A happy sound burbles out from Merchant Kishko. They tilt their head listening. I try to think of an appropriate word to say. Um, trading? Merchant Kishko perks up at the sound of one of their favorite words. They bow formally and present me with a gift. All right. Awesome. What do we get? Oh, nice. We got some antimatter. All right. We're going to actually get that as we continue the mission anyways, but we just got it early. Okay, let's talk to these other dudes. The trader wants to make themse themselves understood. They click their beak slowly and nod their head encouragingly. Their eyes spark in the light. Request dialect help. Okay, he nods thoughtfully and presents. Let's do a friendship symbol. Gek word for please. Okay, now, can we also practice language with this guy and maybe get something else? Uh, practice language skills. Director Vovek leans towards me, their reptilian eyes large with anticipation. I recall several Gek words I might say to them. Future Gek, Starship, Synthetic, Gek, Trading. Uh, let's go Starship. Director Vox seems to take this word as some sort of insult. They look over my multi-tool and scoff defensively. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. 
And what about you? Oh, you know what? We need some life support. There we go. Okay. Secretary Koss. I can't say this gek leading towards me as I did it. Da -da -da. Yeah, request I elect help. Sec Secretary Koss squeaks at me when I do not respond to his list of symbols. Let's do an aggression symbol. We have learned the word for destroy, okay? Let's talk to this one next. Request dialect help. Um, let's do a technology symbol. And we were learn the word for technology. Alright, cool. What do you do? Okay, I guess we don't have enough rep to trade with that dude. Okay, here's the terminal. Um, oh, we can buy the other microprocessor here. Uh, nope, we just want one. Fantastic, okay. Exosuit upgrade chart. All right, so we have everything we need to make the. Well, no, we still have to. We still have to make some um, chromatic metal, but we can do that back at the base. Got another milestone here. We've learned ten words. Let's learn a couple more. We'll talk to these guys. Best dialect help. List of symbols, each seeming to represent a word I might learn. Let's do a mystery symbol. Word for you, okay. Not sure how that's a mystery symbol, but whatever. Oh, maybe that means random symbol. I bet you that's what that means. This guy is absorbed in some game of their own creation, playfully clicking their tongue as they look around the room. They, they see me. I am given three brief clicks before they continue their more general survey. All right, let's go um, friendship symbol. Despair. How's that a friendship symbol? I don't know. Um, okay, what's in here? Another milestone. We learned 15 words. Okay, Celestial Archive. The Gek Archive is intended only for its own species. Ancient audio equipment drones in a low frequency, seemingly expecting a voice command. Um, sales Gek? No, Planet. Archive access. Granted. Decrypt archive. The record is titled On the Classification of Gek. It appears to have been created by the Viking and stolen by the Gek as part of a vast hack. There is a vast list of Gek ranks and types. I, I read a short segment. Scales Gek concern more with profit margins than kindred. Short, brutal lives on distant worlds and puny exchanges. Deserve death. Um... Trade Lord? Trade Lord. Hold franchises over vast areas of space, long-lived compared to other members of their species. Spawning thousands of young. Recommended targets for abduction. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so that means the Viking are targeting the Gek, I suppose? Is there anything else over here? goes out onto the back porch. All right. Well, I think we've um, talked to most everybody here. Uh, did we talk to you? Let's do an aggression symbol. Pirate. Okay. All right, we may not have talked to every single Gek here. Uh, wait a second. Local information repository. What do we do here? Welcome visitor friend to this information repository for the, for the planet New Kong. New Kong historical databanks indicate several local sites of Gek cultural significance. Directions are available. Dispense planetary chart. Print a chart for 15 nanites. Oh. Uh, nah. I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I'd be more interested in doing that if this was our, you know, more of our permanent home, but at present, it's not. 
because, again, I, I don't want to stay here for the long haul. So let's not spend nanites on, on stuff that we would only really want to do when we're doing the long haul. Okay, very cool. So, now, let's take off. And I just want to remember that... Where is our base? It should be showing up somewhere. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So it looks to me like the space the port is to the west of our base. So it's close enough to where we should be able to easily find it. What I'm going to do is go a little bit beyond the base and, uh, base and turn around. And, oh, there's something down there, too. And all we have to do is just get up in the air and kind of face a westerly direction and do the scanner. And it should show us the base. Um... You know what, though? I think the base was... Wasn't it on the other side of that... Mountain there? Let's get back over here for a second. Yeah, I think it was... Was it this way? Yeah, yeah, so we just have to basically head towards that, uh, I guess you would call that a mountain, and we can get to the spaceport. So we should be able to easily f find this again. Let's head back home. That's pretty uh, fortuitous that we, you know, that we have this um, trading station and a spaceport right close to each other. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to make um, some chromatic, more chromatic metal. Um, which means we need to mine some copper to put inside of here. Let's grab the pure ferrite out of here. I'm gonna actually store that in the starship for the, for the moment. Okay, so let's go find some copper. look at this again for a second so yeah we need 125 chromatic metal oh we needed five microprocessors I thought we only needed four okay um, that's not a problem let's um go back into here for a second buy microprocessor one more there we go okay now we have all the microprocessors that we need. Is there actually chromatic metal in here? And how, if there is, how expensive is it? There is not. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go mine it ourselves then. Okay, so we need to find a copper deposit nearby. There's a silver deposit. Uranium. Uranium. Silver. Uranium, silver, silver, copper, right over there. We'll mark that. Okay, let's go mine some copper. That's a, actually, that's a little bit of a jaunt away. Maybe we'll take the ship over there. make sure we're on the smallest one. I'm going to mine up all of this copper, take it back to the base, get it um, refined into chromatic metal, and when we're ready to build the hyperdrive, uh, I will bring you guys back at that point. Alright guys, we're back at the base. We mined out that entire copper deposit. We got a pretty 
a decent amount of copper from that. So let's head in here. And we want to get into our refiner. <coughs> um, let's take one full stack of copper and put it in there. And start processing it. We'll make 125 chromatic. Um, just out of curiosity, how much will th does that other stack of copper sell for? Okay, let's see. Sell. 31,000. Yeah, um, that's not really that much money, really, to be honest with you, c considering the amount of work that it took for me to mine all that up. Okay. So, I have a decision to make. I would like this weapon, but honestly, it's going to take me a significant amount of time to farm up 4.7 million credits to buy it. Um, probably the, there's a couple things we could do. We could set, uh, mine uranium. How much does uranium sell for? Because there's uranium on this planet. Oh. They... Do they not buy uranium? Because it's on the planet, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so the other thing we could do to make money is we could... Just go get a whole crap ton of, of ancient salvage, because each one of those is worth 50 grand. But that means we would have, we would need 20 for a million, and we would need 80 for 4 million. And well, yeah, we would need almost a hundred of those to get to 4.8, uh, 4.7 million or whatever it is. That is a lot of farming. So I'm, I'm just thinking that might not be worth our time. I think we should probably forget about that. Well, we don't have to forget about it. We'll, we'll always know it's here because we have, we'll have the base here. We can always teleport to it if we do decide at some point we want it. But I just don't think that it's going to be worth my time right here and now on this planet to, to do that much farming to get an A-class weapon. Um, so we are not going to do that. We're going to just get the hyperdrive and then move on from here. Okay, so let's grab the chromatic metal. And we should now um, be able to make the hyperdrive. We'll go into the starship there. Processor and chromatic metal. We did it. We now have a hyperdrive installed. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> okay, now what we have to do is we have to make um, a warp cell. We lucked out and got the anti-matter housing. Um, so so that's going to save us having to make that. But if we did have to make the anti-matter, oh, you know what? That's right. We don't even we don't actually know how to make anti-matter yet. I don't think. It's kind of weird how they do that because. They give you the recipe for the warp cell before they give you the recipe for the actual antimatter itself. And for that matter, um, we don't even know how to make the housing either. But what we could do is, can we buy one from here? And how much does it cost? We cannot buy one from here. We might be able to buy one from the space station or the space port, however. Um, okay. Or, wait a minute. Maybe we get that from this guy. Ah, yeah. We can buy one from him. So, we have two choices here, then. I could buy this now. We could make the fuel think oh maybe hmm you know what i'm gonna buy this that's probably was a mistake but i'm doing it for science 
because I just want to see if I can now make it. I might not be able to because I still don't know if I have the blueprint for making the fuel itself. Let's just see what happens. Oh, auto diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status is empty. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I will find answers out there amidst the stars, but without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune scanner to antimatter. Okay, so this is going to take us another place where we can learn antimatter, but what I, my science experiment is, now that I have the warp cell, oh, I can, look at that, I can make it, all right, and then we're going to put that in the hyperdrive, and that gives us 17%, okay, we're still going to follow the quest line anyways, because we need to, um, to learn the recipe for antimatter itself, um, but we just kind of experimented uh, or I mean uh, accelerated that just a little bit okay search for antimatter traces with starship scanner scanner attuned to antimatter let's take off um question is can we find that on this planet or do we have to go back up to another planet that was cool looking Search for antimatter traces with the Starship Scanner. Oh, we have to... Okay, atmospheric interference. We have to do a planetary scan for orbit. Gotcha, okay. Do we have a message coming in? No? I don't know what that... Um, Here we go. Wait a second. It is right there. Okay, let's go. Oh, it is on this other planet. Okay. We just flew by the space station. I don't remember what this planet is. It's not going to be nice, whatever it is. However, if it's a toxic planet, we have that S-class toxic shield uh, booster thingamadoodle, which will definitely help us. Planet Landy. Proxim location. Okay, so this is a toxic planet, but um, this is actually a good place for us to be in terms of... Will you get out of here? Um, because we have this. Uh, no, not that. We have this. Um, it's still going down, but it's... Oh, no, I know what that is. That's like a secondary shield. So that goes down first and before it takes the actual hazard protection. Right, okay. So, uh, we need to go this way. What is this green stuff over here? Oh, it's ammonia. Huh. Interesting. Oh, hi, bird. This is probably where we need to go here. Yeah. We could scan a bunch of stuff down here after we get the antimatter thing and make a little bit of money that way, but... Um, I mean, there's no reason not to, so... Let's do it. Creepy. Abandoned terminal. Okay, get the goop off of it. Terminal online. The eye of the anomaly. Selecting key. Decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. 
It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint and read the log. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. All right, there we go. So we have now learned the antimatter recipe. Cool. Okay, there's a couple things in here we could probably search. It gives us health. Here we go. What's in this other... Oh, I thought this was a two-roomed facility, but I guess it isn't. All right, I saw somewhere close by one of those broken machinery thingies. Go over here. Nanites and navigation data and projectile ammo. All right, very good. Um, so let's head back towards the ship and we'll scan stuff along the way and earn a little bit of extra cash. We got another milestone. We are a merchant. We've earned $254,000. We were down to what, 60 or something? I mean, that's pretty good money considering we spent about five minutes or less just scanning stuff. But still, even with that though, that's still gonna take me a long time to grind up to almost 8 million. Okay, uh, let's put a life support thing there. <coughs> what does this need for a recharge? Uh, Oh, ion battery. It needs two. Or ammonia. Oh, we should go mine some ammonia for just to recharge this alone. Since it's right nearby. Um, okay, let's scan that. Okay, where's the nearest ammonia? That's 465. That's copper. That's copper. Health restore thingy, buried cash. That's really close. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. But actually, let's go back in here anyways and recharge. Hyperdrive refueled. Oh, can we, uh, uh, can we make some antimatter? We can, and we can also make the housing. Okay, that gives us 34%. Fifty. Okay, that's that's good enough for that for the moment. Now, where was that? There was some ammonia really close by. Where did it go? Okay, let's do this. There's a plant we haven't scanned yet. Wasn't it like just right over here or something? Did we scan you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, there it is. I'm just going to grab enough of this to recharge our outer layer. Since it's right here and easy for us to get to. Alright, how much do we need? Oh, nice. We got it fully charged. Okay. I think we are finished here. 
Unless I wanted to stick around and do some more scanning, but I don't think that I do. I think I just want to move things along here. So, I think we are ready to leave this solar system. And go on an adventure. Interstellar travel. Okay. Oh, you know what? While we're here, why don't we... Um, Line up a little bit of tritium and stuff. Uh, that's fuel for our pulse engine. What does this blue thing give us? That gives us tritium. Okay. Or no, it's uh, silver. Well, it's kind of a, a bit of a grab bag, I think. Gold nugget. Nice. You know, another thing we could do is we could hunt outlaws. We used to get a pretty good payoff for the bounties on them. And we get rep with the GEC too, because this is a GEC system. Uh oh. Let's get out of here if we can. They might pull us out of hyperspace. Yeah, they they protected our cargo here. All right, well, I guess we're gonna, I guess the fight's on here. Took him out. Is it just him? Okay, we got some standing with the Gek and we got a, some Viking effigies. Wow, we got a bunch of Viking effigies. Okay, well, that went reasonably well. Okay, good. Uh, Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the space station. We're gonna sell some some of this gold and stuff that we got, and then we're gonna take off to a new solar system. Okay, sell. Uh, sell the goop. I want to keep the cobalt. Sell the ammonia. Let's switch to our starship inventory. We'll sell the gold. I want to keep the uranium because we need that to... Tritium hypercluster. We can sell all of those for 19,000. A gold nugget is... Okay, I want to I want to actually look at something here. Let's get back out of here for a second. Is a single gold nugget worth more than the gold that we would get from it if we broke it open. Okay, so that's worth 3280 units. And that's worth se Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, we more than doubled the value of that by opening that thing up like we did. Okay. Uh this is worth 99 you know what I might actually want to do with that is, here, let's re-charge our pulse engine. We might leave those as they are because they're consolidating. I think they're consolidating the tritium, or will all of those, how much does that open up? Uh, probably not. Okay, so that, that just consolidated into that one stack. Uh, but it's definitely worth breaking old open gold nuggets for sure and probably um that probably holds true for in, you know anything else along those lines as well would be my guess 
Yeah. And the copper's worth more to us, you know, refining and turning into other stuff. Oh, you know what? I left my... I left my refiner back down at the base. Not that it, they're hard to make, but since we can go down there through the teleporter, we'll just go down and grab it before we take off to a new system. New milestone. We're ambulatory. Nice. That's a good thing, especially at my age. Uh, okay, so let's sell the gold. Wait, what? Yeah, right. I want to keep this because I want to see if we, we can turn it into nanites. And we should keep these because we might be able to use those for um, rep with the Viking. Um, let's try something here really quick. Will this guy talk to us now? Do we have enough rep for him too? Yes, nice. Okay, so we can get some star charts. Available charts. Planetary charts, exo suit upgrade chart. Encoder navigation, which. Oh, this reveals the location of a drop pod containing an exo. Oh, right, okay. Um, I gotcha. A secret, an emergency, a commercial, an alien, or a specialist. That's a settlement. Oh, yeah. You know what? A settlement is like where our base is right now. And I think the commercial... Oh, wait. That, okay, that says an inhabited outpost. This says a space... Uh, a planetary settlement. That'll cost us five charts. But you know what? Um, I want one of those... And this is an outpost. This is a distress signal. We could find, uh, we could find a, a ship, a derelict ship, with that. So let's grab one of those. That's a secure site, ancient artifact site, inhabited outpost. Okay, good. Those things are going to come in handy. All right, let's go back down uh, to our planet base. Uh, get our refiner, and then we're going to take off for the stars, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's pick up the refiner. Let's pick this thing up, too. Um, I'm going to leave this here. However, what we can do... How do we turn this off? Do we just take the the stuff out of it? Uh, actually, no. You know what? I'm going to take this, too. Oh, it's not letting me pick it up. No power. Power grid. Okay, I guess mm, once you put these down, they're down for good. Is that what the deal is? I'm not seeing any commands that say I can take that out. Because here's the thing. If you remove the power from a warp gate, you can still teleport to it. You just get on to teleport from it. So I was thinking we could take this with us and use it in our next base. But uh, that wasn't that expensive to make. So I guess we won't worry about it. Do you have anything more for us? You do not. Okay. All right, you guys. I think we are ready to head to the stars. Radiation protection falling. Is there anything else we want to do in here? How much money do we have? We have 333,000. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. All right, so let's access the galaxy map. This will be our first time in here. Uh, enter free look 
set waypoint. All right, cool. So it has pre-mapped out a course for us to get to the center of the galaxy. Um, so I think what we'll do, select my location, B, B space, back, oh, backspace. Okay, so that, that zeroes us back in where we, excuse me, where we currently are. Expand. Unruly conflict. You know what I think I want to do before we leave this system? Let's see if we can find an outlaw to take out. Do a little bit of combat because we'll get rep with the Gek and uh, the payout's pretty good for those dudes too. So I think we just have to fly around for a bit until one shows up. He's going to pull us out of uh, pulse mode. Okay, let's go at it. Rockets at him. Okay, we got more standing with the Gek. Oh, nice. Look at the nanites we just got for that. That's actually really good. That's a lot of nanites. Okay. Just for clar clarification, though, the pirates that attack us, they're not the dudes with the bounty. There's another type of uh, encounter where, you know, there's a dude flying around who is wanted. And we go hunt him. So rather than being the hunted, we are the hunter. And you get pretty good money for that and also really good rep. I'm going to look at something real quick here. Um, deflector shield. And we have this extra shield strength that we have too, which is great. Okay. Peak damage potential. Alright, so I'm going to keep flying around for a little bit longer and if you know if we don't see one of those wanted things um, show up pretty soon uh, then we will take off for a new system We've got two ships on our six now. So it's hard for me to... There we go. Come on. All right, we've got the one. We need to quickly recharge our deflector shield. Okay. And now let's deal with this other bastard. You know, it's easier for me to fight in this view, just because you can see a little bit better, I think. damaged. Alright, darn it. I was busy futzing around. Oh, 
Oh, we lost our rocket launcher. Dang it. Alright, we'll, we'll get him though. He's a lot worse shape than we are. Suspicious something or other. Okay, well, we're in bad shape now, so let's go to the space station. Oh, we need fuel for that. No, we don't need fuel for it. We need to repair it. <laughs> that wasn't uh, that wasn't uh, very good dogfighting there, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's see. We need to create one of these. And we need to make a hermetic seal. Okay, we're good. Oh, now we need fuel. No, we got fuel. <coughs> so, um, we we got some kind of module though. So we'll we'll see what that that is. It might be pretty good. But I w I wasn't really on my game very well there because, you know, I switched views and then. Our shields went down, and we are in the weakest ship in the game on top of all that, so. But we survived it. That's the important thing. Okay, what else is damaged? Um, this is damaged. We need chromatic metal, sodium, and a wiring loom to fix it. Uh, and the rocket launcher. That we should be able to fix right now. Okay, rocket launcher's good. Uh, all of our sodium got used up by recharging the shield. Okay, um, let's uh, go ahead and break open those nuggets there. I might leave those hyper clusters as they are for the moment. Oh, we were going to look at whatever it is we just got from that dude. This thing. Suspicious packet tech. Open. Suspicious movement module. Okay, so this is a jetpack thingy. All right, let's install it. Um, what we're going to need to do, though, is move this down here and that up there. Okay, so what do we get out of this? Oh, 237% on jetpack tanks, 12% recharge rate, 4% initial reboost, and 22% sprint recovery time. Okay, nice. I think that sounds like a pretty nice upgrade to me. Okay, so we're going to sell... This gold and uh, the silver, and I think that's all we want to sell right at the moment. Okay, how much does a wiring loom cost? That's kind of expensive. Ninety thousand uh, dollars. Well, not dollars, credits. You know what I mean. <sighs> Excuse me. We need it though to fix that thing, but yeah. Okay, we'll buy it. We also need to make some more chromatic metal, so let's go back down to the base. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna go back down to the base. I'm gonna make the chromatic metal we need to repair our our shield module. And then we will take off for another solar system. But we are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to let you guys go here. And uh, we will start up in the next episode by jumping to a new solar system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.